What's going on guys, it's David here. Welcome to another devotional Saturday 10 Commandments series. Before we get started, uh, I'm going to tell you a little story about Amish country, which will lead into today's devotional, which is commandment number 10. Uh, but so last week, you know, we were out at Amish country. Um, we thought, hey, we're going to go to this farm. This It's a tourist attraction, but it's a real farm, but... Um, you can go there, you can walk around, uh, you could pay to go on a wagon or your car, go drive around, buy animals, feed them, things like that. When we were on our way, my sister saw horses and baby horses. And she's like, hey, David, can you drive down that way? I just want to see them. Sure. So we drive down there, and my mom and my sister, ooh, all oh, babies, all, oh, how cute, oh. And, you know, all over it. And so there's, there's a lot of them. 20 of them maybe more and so then we start to drive a little bit more and coming from the home of this Amish man he's coming out so there's this Amish man is coming out from his garage with his bike coming down so we stop roll down the window start talking to him interesting story that my sister knows a lot of the same people he knows because he's a horse breeder and my sister works at a racetrack and it's like wow okay so he knows a lot of the same people she asked about someone specific um that she knows of um who, who lives down there and he's like yeah i work for him part-time uh he, he lives about eight miles this way so he showed me on the map where he's at and we go there and he, we, and we finally find his house and he's cutting his grass, he stops and my sister starts talking to him, how they know about all the same people. And it's like, wow, this is so cool. Yeah, we just wanna stop, we saw your horses. He's like, hey, you know what? Let me get my side by side out. I'll, I'll take you out in the field. We'll go right up by him. How cool is that? So we got this private tour on this farm out in Amish country. Um, see all these horses, the babies, we got right up to them. It was really, really cool cool uh so that's gonna lead into today's devotional commandment number 10 you shall not covet and specifically it says in exodus 20 verse 17 it says you shall not covet your neighbor's house you shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his uh, manservant or his maidservant his ox or his donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor and i think about that because I was, you know, I start thinking, oh, I would love to have a farm out like this. Oh, that would be so cool. I, I want this and that. And you start wanting these things. Um, and it's like, am I starting to covet? And coveting is not necessarily wanting. And we're going to use the Ten Commandments by David Prager, or Dennis Prager, I'm sorry, um, with it. And it's interesting what he says. For one is, coveting is the only commandment that talks about thoughts. It's our thoughts. And he goes on to say that... Um, at least those things. So coveting, why do people do these things? Well, they may want something that belongs to another person. They may want someone else's wife. So they might kill that person or steal, commit adultery with them. They may see, hey, they have that thing that I want and why can't I have it? So they go and steal. And then he goes on to say, to covet is more than to want. And he says the Hebrew verb, lachmad, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's L-A-C-H-M-O-D. D means to want to the point of seeking to take away and own something that belongs to another person. So it's seeking to take away what they have. They have it. I want it. They don't deserve it. I'm going to take it from them. Now you're covenanting. And then it also says it is when you want and seek to gain possession of the specific house, the car, the spouse, etc. that belongs to another. That's when evil ensues. That's when things start to become evil evil and you start committing breaking all these other commandments because you're coveting what that person wants you want to take it away from what they want so it's okay to have nice things or say hey wow you have a beautiful house but you have to know where that line drawn is or hey that's, oh that'd be cool to have a farm like that but those desires starting to make you think hey how can i take it away from that person and it goes back to in the new testament when jesus you know talks about um thinking you know when when you lustfully look at someone you can adultery with them in your hearts or another in the scripture where it talks about if you hate your brother you're a murderer and the thoughts and there's so many things about our thoughts that we need to control and then one of my prayers is uh, I keep praying to the Lord to renew my thoughts because we are so distracted in this world. There's advertisements everywhere. You flip on the TV. You can talk to somebody. You just, just go to the store, buy something. People are using the Lord's name in vain. They're saying things. They're not wearing anything. It's it's insane. So so our thoughts, we got to protect our thoughts. And scripture talks about renewal of our minds. So that's what I got for you guys this week. I cannot believe it. It wraps up uh, the Ten Commandments. I will do a recap of all Ten Commandments and for next devotional and also like a good way of how to uh, memorize 
all ten commandments. So if I could say, hey, hey, Stephen, what's commandment number three? Hey, Brittany, what's commandment number seven? You'll be able to know right away what that commandment is uh, with these uh, with this practice. And it takes like literally like four minutes of watching this video, and you have all ten commandments down. So that's what I got to you guys for you guys today. Till next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.